for ourselves in the legislature that only benefit us and our families. I can fortune how the Senate, where some prefer themselves as light, will sign onto a document that gives them a pension that goes as far as their unborn children. I am neither surprised about the hypocrisy on the so-called light, nor baffled about a man who held a countable Darlington Kinley for airport MD based on his credential, but how his friend Israel Akisai confirmed at the RTA with may or no high school graduate has been circulated. Though we can't question the word of the people, but those who brought these fake lights on us now see what we have done to the Liberian people. Later over two years, this so-called light has received 30,000 for quote-unquote constituency visit, lied about his ticket on flying business class, and got over 40,000 after condemning others prior to being senator. Later over two years, this so-called light has received over 30,000. How in the world do we continue to use our people for selfish benefit and say we are playing politics? Syrians need to clearly understand that this is not a government or CDC bill, but something that comes from the hands who every day question the government on frivolous issue, but in actuality, they are the ones desolating plans to continue murking from the system. Are these not the people who say the country has failed under President George Mano We are? Are these not the same hypocrites who say Liberia and Liberians deserve better? Are these not the same people who claim that the economy is in the toilet? How come they want to pension for their lifetime, which will eventually increase the wage bill of the country? Mr. Speaker, we call on all our lawmakers, including the leadership of the House of Representatives, to stage a major press conference to clearly communicate our rejection of this bill and bring sanctity to this august body. Our people look up to us to better their lives, not ourselves. Even if the majority succeeds, we are very optimistic that the President, His Excellency Dr. George Manawia, we know, and his law for all Liberians will veto that wicked bill from the house of the belly of the devil. We are on an irreversible path with this country and the people can be assured we won't join these hypocrites calling themselves politicians whose true intent is to continue to milk the state to the detriment of the poor people. This time is now and we the people of electoral district number nine we say no to this wicked pension bill. Thank you. Sincerely yours, Honorable Frank Safoko Jr. So, member of the press, I have to ask four questions relative to what the Honorable has just spoken about. So, with the four questions, your front page. Honorable Foko, uh, you've been in the legislature for a while now, and I assume you know how the legislature works. And especially in terms of passing legislations. So in your press conference, you chose to single out a few individuals who are members of the Judiciary Committee for work that the plenary of the Senate for a decision they took. So people may think you, you try to cherry pick and be personal about the bill, even more political about the bill than being, I mean, sensitive to the to the plights of the ordinary people. Okay, basically, I think if you heard my press conference or you heard my reading, 
I did not refer just to a few people. I said the Senate. And I called a few names and I said, and others. So many, there are many other persons that got involved, all of those who signed that bill. So I did not particularly speak to just one person. I addressed this communication to the Senate holistically. So when you refer to, quote unquote, the fake light, you're being specific. Yeah, basically, Senator Dillon, the senator of Mosserado County, who is my big brother, I, I think he's one, he been one person who has been speaking on the issue of integrity, and he was brought to leadership on the basis of integrity. So in most cases, you always hear people making reference to him. He usually says that. He said that the people look up to him on the basis of integrity. So when these things happen, trust me, definitely, do there also, is no issue. Do you also look up to him? What I look up to him as to doing what? On the basis of integrity. No, the people that elected Senator Dillon. Yeah, he, he, I did not elect Dillon. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, from... Okay, thank you. My name is Haji Masala. I come from Spoon. From what I see, is like an open letter to the Speaker uh, commending him uh, for allowing the flow uh, that the chambers to, you know, participate in the, the decision to reject this bill. Are you going to publish it uh, in terms of newspaper or what are you going to do? Next? Yeah, this is going to be published. Uh, I have Spoon here. I have From Pre Africa. I have all the big news in the country right here. So this is going to be uh, on Front Page Africa that I'm very sure about. This is going to be published everywhere. I'm giving this letter uh, to the Speaker's office. Now we have our presiding. Uh, our presiding now. The Speaker is now in the country. So this is obviously going to be on the floor and we're going to openly have a press conference. The leadership needs to do that. Yeah, you you say you you uh, one minute you say you you spoke for the people of district now. How did you derive at rejecting uh, this? Did you hold consultation with? The I don't necessarily people? need to hold consultation. I represent the people of district number nine uh, holistically, but there are some things that don't require going back to them. Imagine looking at this bill of people being paid after they leave office. Imagine people want want us to pay them for their old age. Imagine how long they have worked. Some of them have worked for nine years. Some of them have been in the city for 18 years. Are they telling us that we should pay them and their children and their wives after they shall have left office? We are saying no. So this does not necessarily have to go back to the district to, to seek consultation. This is something that we have to make decision on the spot. And we made that decision already. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm Lira Ozeva. Uh, beside your, your letter concerning the Senate, uh, Pension and pension bill. I I like to go up shy and ask you about the hack in tuition in private and public school, and secondly about the census. The census data has been set for October twenty fourth to twenty four seven. Can you come and speak? You want to speak? So basically, uh, I will speak on the issue of the hacking tuition. This is this is unfair uh, because most of those schools, we are hoping to receive the uh, inform. I mean, the education minister on next week, Tuesday, for which we're going to be discussing on the issue of the tuition, right? To be very honest, our private schools in the country are not being sincere to our Liberian people, and I think this is time that the Liberian government, through the education ministry, needs to take seats of this matter. In fact, there are students now, there are some schools, based on my intelligence I gather, there are some schools that have already opened, and students are not in school, most especially for those students who are going to write their words. Some students are not in school because their parents cannot afford, you know, the, the, the amount those schools have charged. So basically, you're going to find serious problems. This is why sometimes we have part of the school. There will be no additional thing added to the school. Some of those schools, no library, no science lab. The students have to go to some private lab just to do research and prepare themselves for national exam. You find uh, cafe, I mean, uh, in the uh, 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 different uh, community trying to find a, a means to do their assignment. You find students now going around to buy data just to do their assignment. There is no facility, no internet facility on campus, no computer lab, no science lab, but they just go about to increase, so they prefer... You say we should stick to the pension bill. Are you aware that there's, there is this pension bill and former lawmakers are taking pay monthly because the existence of that bill? And two, you talk about, quote unquote, he allowed, he denied Darlington Conley on the basis of credential and allow um, Akisaya to pass, who also doesn't have, in your words, credential. But that, are you questioning the decision of the president who appointed or nominated Mr. Akisaya to the 
So as, I, as, as, as I said to you, based on the issue of speculation, right? Like when Darlington was appointed by the president, yeah, that this man did not have the uh, requirement for that position. So when he went to the Senate, we saw Dayton was very proactive. He was very active in asking all of the necessary questions. Even when the Chief Justice went to the Senate, we saw him being very proactive. But what right to be done? Of the patient bill. So the patient bill, I think pension is something that you should, you should earn in terms of the pension bill. What we are saying here is we have NASCO. We have the NASCO app. We have procedure that leads to you taking pension after you leave work. So we just need to go through the procedure. So will you move to repeal the current bill that, that allows former lawmakers to take You get old, you got to enjoy what you put in. But you, you refuse to put something in, you want to get something out. This is completely ugly, it's wicked. This is completely wicked. So you want so to repeal of that bill? Yeah, basically we need to look out of the tombs. We need to look at the tunes, but you did not put something inside. But you want us to pay you, pay your unborn children. This is ugly. And some of those people who are, I, I don't know how those senators even did that. I, I don't know what they were thinking on. I don't know, I don't know what their judgments were. But I think basically those people are completely wicked. And we need to look at and I, I don't know. We, we don't want to see this as something that even came to us. This is bad. And we say sorry to the Liberian people that elected those people that make that decision. This is ugly. And we need to change from that attitude. We cannot be here, you know, working for the people. Then we start to make law against the people of Liberia. We are discussing on the issue of bar rules in this country for which president we are is trying his possible best administration. We are discussing on the issue of doing better for our schools. Here is the University of Liberia. We need more popular, you know, high schools in this country. Go in district number nine. We do not have a, a public high school. We do not have public library in Liberia. We do not. There are many other things. Are we saying this time we want to be blaming who become president or not? No. What can we do here as or as legislators? Are we not also working for the people? Do we want to sit all day and just blame one president for the challenges a Liberia is faced with? I'm saying no. I'm saying no to that. So those guys secretly now under the carpet were trying to pass a bill that does not represent the people. So imagine we're going to be increasing. In, we are saying no, and we take the house of representatives to take ownership of this and move forward. Thank All you. right. Last so uh, my name is Prince Moba, and I report for Crown FM and focus on Liberia, based in the U.S. So, Honourable, my question is. Um, what are specifics uh, you can point out to that, that you know, informed your decision on yesterday in this press conference that are, that are in that bill that you described, that you saw in the scrap? Uh, what I think, as, what as, I think... As, uh, as, as Biden, we did as the first one. So the general also said that uh, he did not sign that bill, but rather he signed a document, an analysis of the old law that talks about gainful employment. So since if I, like, uh, Kamu was asking, there's a bill already, I mean, there's a bill already for pension. So say it is an amendment to that law. So what are the specific that you see that makes it bad? Maybe the, this level. It is actually bad. The fact that senators will say that we should pay them 50% of what they are earning now, right? The fact that they say we should pay them 50% and even pay their wives. Do I have to tell you that it's from uh, under the water or it's from the belly of the devil? As Liberians, that's why where we come from, that's why our political differences. We need to.